Search is to find. To find is not the end. The end is to begin. To begin is to search. To search is to find. To find is not the end. The end is impossible to forget. To forget is not the end. The end is to remember. To remember is the start. To start is to search. To search is to find. How did you know I was here? You told me ages ago where you have lunch. I managed to swap a shift with, you know, Melissa. So now I'm here. You seemed a bit distant this morning and I didn't get to ask you what you were doing tonight. I thought maybe we could go for some food and then maybe hit the cinema since it's a Wednesday and I've got that code thing. I can't tonight. Oh, why not? I've got the thing. What thing? I'm seeing the hypnotherapist. Sorry, I completely forgot. I know that's important to you, but I still think it's stupid. I mean, we all envision things from time to time. Like when I'm at work, getting told off for being late or giving away free drinks. Stop giving away free drinks, Cassio. <laughs> I usually just think I'm in bed just asleep dreaming about it. That way it's all a nightmare and it's not really happening. But these visions are real. And they're getting stronger. Somehow, I know that they're connected to my past life. Like a ghost or a reincarnation. That's crazy. You don't really believe in that stuff, do you? Look, I've got to go. 
Okay, great. Just remember, to search is to find. Wait. What did you just say? To search is to find. It's on the website for the hypnotherapist you're seeing. I checked him up, just to see if he was for real. And I also came down here today just to see if you were really going and that you weren't just lying to me. I'll catch you later. You'll have to tell me how it goes. I hope he's one of those lame stereotypes with those pocket watches that send you to sleep. As if that actually works. I mean, you've got to be pretty stupid to actually believe that, surely. Not that I'm calling you stupid, but you just got to admit, these visions and dreams that you've been having, they're all a bit weird. Anyway, I hope he works for you and helps you out and all that. And maybe you'll stop being miserable and actually want to spend time talking to people in the real world. Like me, your girlfriend. Before we begin, I need you to fill in one of these forms. Okay. Why? Oh, basically just to get some background information on you, family history, uh, medical info, and also a small disclaimer at the bottom, uh, stating that I'm not responsible for any injuries, illnesses, or an extremely unlikely event uh, of death occurring uh, during one of our sessions, and that these are taken at your own risk. Risk? Ah, oh, don't worry, it's, it's, it's fine. Um, it's there as a mere precaution. I mean, in all my many years of therapy, uh, no one has ever died during session. Well, not yet anyway. It, uh, it also states that uh, you agreed to pay me for one session, successful or not, and it is at your and my discretion as to whether or not we proceed with any more sessions. Uh, now, uh, before we begin, uh, would you like some tea? No, I'm fine, thank you. I need to be polite, I insist. It'll be too relaxed. You see, in order for the procedure to work, you must be relaxed. Otherwise, you're wasting your time and mine. Besides, I make the best tea. All my other patients say so. Of course they do. Done. Yep. We said 50 quid for cash. Yes, yes, 50 pounds for the first session, uh, 75 pounds for any session you book after that. Although if you do book in bulk, there is a discount which takes it back down to 50 pounds a session. Although it is worth finding out first if you're susceptible to hypnosis. 
Does it not work for some people? Well, that depends on the individual, of course, and the therapist. Um, however, as it stands, I am very good at what I do. I am able to help about 95% of all my patients. However, it's usually the stubborn ones that refuse my relaxing tea. Right, should we get started? Okay, good. Um, so, Nicholas, uh, why are we here? Well, I, I'm, I'm interested in finding out about my past. Uh, your past in this lifetime or a previous life? Definitely a previous life. Okay, okay. Um, in which case, I'll be attempting uh, what is known as regressive hypnotherapy. This is where uh, the body moves from the physical world and into the spiritual. Is it difficult? Mm, it can be, but not for someone like me. Now, uh, before I begin, I will need some more information from you. Uh, firstly, uh, what brings you here? I'm not really sure how to explain it. Go on. I keep having these visions. At night, sometimes, when I'm asleep, they come to me. And sometimes, during the day, things will just fade away as if I'm not there anymore. Like I'm somewhere else. Somewhere I've never been before, yet, strangely, it feels familiar. What do you see in these visions? Sometimes it's just flashes of people, a woman mainly, flashes of, of places and objects. But more recently it's been a man. And what does this man look like? He just stands there, staring, as if he's waiting for someone. But when I try to speak, the vision ends. Occasionally he speaks to me. He sits at a desk, reading a letter. I can't tell whether it's addressed to me or not, but I know that it's important. My girlfriend thinks I'm crazy, but I can feel him, as if he's part of me, buried deep down somewhere, just waiting, wanting to get out. Is that weird? Hmm, it is a little odd. Man in an office. Fascinating. Where are you during these visions? As I said, I can be anywhere. On the train, at home, when I'm out somewhere, at the pub, anywhere. Yes, I gather. Uh, what I'm really asking is, um, what year are the visions of this man taking place? And where are you during these visions? It's not clear. It's, it's difficult to tell. Interesting. The reason I ask is, you see, in most regression cases involving strong dreams or visions, it'll be a lot clearer as to when and where you are. This can be indicated by surroundings, uh, buildings, clothes, and sometimes even, even flashes of times and dates. Is there nothing at all of note? Not really. There's an old office desk. And there's a phone and a, a lamp. Quite old as well. Other than that, there's nothing. Sorry. Hmm. That is very strange indeed. I would suggest that this man you see in your visions it is you in a, in a former life. He's obviously trying to contact you for some reason. Why? Well, that's what we're here to find out, isn't it? If not, uh, you would not be sat there and, and I wouldn't be sat here. Uh, now, um, are you finished with your tea? Yes. Good. Now just pop the cup down and uh, focus on me. 
Right, Nicholas. Take a deep breath and let it out slowly. Concentrate on your breathing. With every breath, you become more relaxed. Close your eyes. Imagine a brilliant white light above you. Focusing on this light as it flows through your body. Allow yourself to drift off as you fall deeper and deeper into a more relaxed state of mind. As I count backwards from 10 to 1, you will feel more peaceful and calm. 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 8, 8, 7, 7, 7, 6, 6, 6. You will enter a safe place where nothing, nothing can harm you. Five, 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 four, four, three, three, three two, 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 two. If at any point, any point you feel you need to come back, come back, come back, come back. all you must do, must, do, must do is open your eyes. One, one. Safe in the light that surrounds you, free of fear and pain. Your subconscious mind will rejoin the conscious, past and present, no longer apart, but as one, here, together in this room. Now tell me, Nicholas, what do you see? I see a man. Good. Now remember, he is you, and you are he. You are safe. He cannot harm you. What else do you see? He's here, standing, waiting, watching. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Try to remain calm and take it one step at a time. Do you feel as though you are able to move? Yes. Good. When you're ready, I want you to slowly move towards the man. You're in a safe place when nothing can harm you. When you're close enough, I will speak for you. Why do you visit me? Hello, Nicholas. I hear you have brought a welcome guest with you. You have finally found what I have been searching for. This is why I visit you, Nicholas. Do you understand? No. You found what I've been searching for. This is not the end. This is what I've been waiting for. What are you waiting for? The sleeper. Who is this sleeper that you talk of? You are the sleeper. Not Nicholas? I am here for you. I have been looking for you a long time. You hide yourself well. You are not here for Nicholas. This is most 
unprecedented. Hmm. In which case, if you are here for me, then I must know of whom I have the privilege of speaking to. Stop this pretense. The game is up. You know who I am. I am your brother. I have come for you. I, I am, am the, the miracle. miracle. Victoria lives. Nicholas is the vessel. And I am here for you. My brother. The sleeper. This can't be. No. You will always have blood on your hands. Victoria's mine. Your jealousy killed us. You couldn't help yourself. You will never change. You could never keep your emotions in check. The sleeper is finally found. To search is to find. To find is not the end. Death is simply the first dance. Love is the dance of eternity. And now you know this one will last forever. Nicholas! Yes. Nicholas! Yes. Come on! You were once, once surrounded, surrounded by a brilliant, by a brilliant white, white light. light. Allow the light to guide you, guide you away from, away your, from past your past and back and to back this, this lifetime. lifetime. When the, light when the light dissipates, dissipates you will slowly, slowly fade, back fade back into consciousness. Into consciousness. Yes, yes, Nicholas, Nicholas, when I tell you to open your eyes, your eyes you will return, return back, back to the present. To the present. Nicholas, 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 open your eyes, your eyes man. man. Nicholas, Nicholas, open your eyes. Your eyes.